verified by anybody else. So I want to ask Mr. Catwell to speak to that. If you have him come first, Mr. Minister. Good afternoon, Mr. Catwell. Thank you for coming. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. You are appearing before a formally constituted committee of the Parliament of Barbados, the Public Accounts Committee, which is charged with the responsibility of looking into matters relative to the spending of government entities, both central government and some of the state-owned corporations. Including the Transport Board. I am to remind you that once you appear as a witness, it is expected that you would Speak that which you know to be accurate and truthful. There is provision in the legislation for penalties for statements given otherwise than that which is true or factual. You will be required to take an oath or a make an affirmation that what you do say is so to be considered as true and accurate in as far as you are aware. The committee is looking into matters relative to the Transport Board as appearing in the report of the Office of the Auditor General for the period 2015 to 2018. Specifically, we are concerned about the process approved and the process employed for purchasing of parts the repairs regime employed by the board, retransmissions and especially acquisition of reconditioned bus transmissions, issue of over invoicing and overpayment for repair transactions, the status of a bus BM506, the status of another bus for which there was contracted uh, the supply, manufacturing supply of a bus to service these scenic operations need of the transport board. Is that all clear to you? Yes. All right, we yes, will sir. ask the clerk to, deputy clerk to administer the oath or to have you do the affirmation at this time. Good afternoon, Mr. Catwell. Would you prefer to do the oath of witness or the affirmation of witness? I'm not hearing you clearly. Would you prefer to do the oath of witness or the affirmation of a witness? I can do the oath of a witness. Okay, could you please stand, please? Take the Bible in your right hand and read the oath for us as it is before you. The evidence I Where's shall the Bible in your right hand, sir? The evidence that I shall give before this committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, Lord. Thank you, Mr. Kaplan. Let me ask you. Okay.
All right, for the record, could you state your, your full name, perhaps your address, and what you would have done during your years? You did work at the Transport Board, right? Yes, sir. All right, tell us what was your role there. My name is Calvin Catwell, Eastern St. George. Um, I worked with the Transport Board from 2006 until 2014 when I was laid off. What did you do there? I was a driver. Bus driver? Bus driver. Oh, okay. Operator. <laughs> Okay, 2006 to 2014? Yes. All right. Now, um, we're very particularly so concerned about the status of this BM506, uh, which nobody seems to be able to speak to us about with certainty, perhaps with the exception of Mr. Sylvan Codrington, known to you. Right. For yes. our former quality assurance manager. Yes. All right. All right, uh, sir, I have a brief presentation I didn't mind seeing and give you an idea of what transpired as far as that bus is concerned. Uh, we, 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 shell is concerned. We will let you do that, but um, I <coughs> would prefer to take the approach to let any of my colleagues have questions. They could direct them to you first. Mm -hmm. But I didn't mind making the presentation first and then take questions after. I can appreciate that, and if they so desire, um, they will not raise the hand to indicate they want to speak now. But I said my approach would be if they want to let them speak first. Anybody wants to speak? All right, they want to hear from you. Go ahead, right ahead. Stand or I can sit. You may sit. Uh -huh. Mr. Chairman, I want to thank you and your committee for giving me this opportunity to clarify the ugly, untruthful, and distressful issue alleging associating me with a missing transport board bus. I appreciate the chance to explain the facts surrounding my position with the purchase of the old disused bus shell, which formerly bore the registration number BM506. This shell, an old 1997 Hino bus body, constitution a rusty frame with completely devoid its interior and engine and was left discarded in the bushy area at Mangrove Depot. I wish to indicate that that the Cambridge English Dictionary defined a shell as a basic outer structure of a building or vehicle, especially when the parts inside has been destroyed or taken or have not been made. And notably, the Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English states that a shell is the outer structure of something, especially the part of a building that remains when the rest of it has been destroyed. Kindly also note that the Marion Webster Dictionary defines a bus as a large motor vehicle having long body equipped with seats, benches for passengers, usually operating as part of a scheduled service. Additionally, I refer to the Oxford Dictionary, which defines a bus as a large motor vehicle carrying passengers by the road, typically one serving the public on a fixed route and for a fare. With regard to the above mentioned, Mr. Chairman, I met with the general manager, Sandra Ford, and applied to purchase an old bus shell. She advised me to follow up with my request in writing, which I immediately complied with in a letter, 25th of January, 2018. I have a copy of that letter, sir. I can submit to you. <clears throat> Soon afterwards, the quality insurance manager asked me to submit a bid I complied and submitted and subsequently paid for the shell, which dated the 27th of February um, 2018. Copy available if um, I could submit, sir. Then thereafter, I removed the shell from the mangrove depot, which did not contain any parts whatsoever. I have copies of that, of which um, I gave to the part to pass around to the, the, the um, committee, sir, that they can see clearly what I'm speaking about. No windows, no windscreen, no seat, no doors, no panels, etc. I want to present copies, the copies that um, she, um, she, she took for me. But you could pass them around and let them see. Okay, you did that already, right. Mr. Chairman, Contrary to the information that was published in the print media, and such as such was frequently referred to in discussion of this committee or reported by the Transport Board, at no time did I ever request 
or obtain a bus from transport board. Accordingly, I emphatically state that I purchased and obtained a bus shell, repudiated as false and destructive all allegations of my taking or having any involvement with your missing transport board bus. Never happened. I, I am perturbed that in spite of my letter of request and accompanying receipt, which was known to the board related to the bus shell, they told me that two years hence, I'm being accused of taking a transport board bus BM506, rather than my purchasing and obtaining a bus shell. <clears throat> this issue associating me with a missing transport board bus has caused me great pain, suffering, character assassination. It has caused the public to associate me with being a thief. Everywhere I go, an accusation of about a missing bus confronts me. I receive calls from England, the United States, all over the world, falsely accusing me of stealing a transport board bus. When I serve the night, I find that I am connected with a missing transport board bus. I must categorically state that in 2018, the shell associated with BM506, which I bought, was not a bus, as the photographs indicated in the pictures. Mr. Chairman, committee members, I would like my name to be cleared of this pernicious and false accusations being circulated. This has caused me some distress and pain, great pain. I'm asking you to assist me in acquiring whatever compensation you deem appropriate for the pain and sore distress caused by this board in referring to and associating me repeatedly in discussion here in this review and elsewhere with the media concerning my reviewing by receiving or obtaining a missing transport board bus. That is my presentation, sir. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Mr. Catwell. And in the interest of accuracy, may I say to you, as far as I am aware and do recollect, nobody on this committee has said that you have received or that by some other means, a transport board bus BM506 that could not be accounted for by the management of the transport board when an audit was done by the Office of the Auditor General of Barbados. Nobody on this committee has suggested that you have taken that missing bus. Your name became associated with a transaction related to that bus according to Mr. Codrington by mention of Mr. Codrington, the quality assurance manager at the time himself. Mr. Chairman. The committee is inquiring into the possible whereabouts of the bus if it still exists and if it was disposed of by whatever means, the circumstances around its disposal. That is the responsibility of this committee based on a report of the Auditor General of Barbados, which said upon their inquiry, no one at the Transport Board could tell them what had become of BM506. Mr. Chairman, sir, you, someone at the board at the board had receipts of 506 being a bus All right, we, we, we will get to that. I'm just clarifying for you. And Hold on, Mr. Catwell. I'm just trying to clarify for you the position of this committee. We are acting on the basis of the report of the Auditor General and looking into operations, other matters at the Transport Board for a period 2014, 2015 to 2018. Yes, sir. One of the findings of the Auditor General was that an account could not be properly given as to a bus registration BM506 when that query was put to the quality assurance manager, he said the bus had been disposed of by legitimate transaction, a purchase by yourself. Yes, sir. You are here to substantiate that if you can, because no one else has been able to do so thus far. Just to set the record straight. We have some questions from the members of the committee. Thank you, Chair. Um, and thank you for your presentation, and thank you for uh, presenting yourself before the Public Accounts Committee, Mr. Catwell. The 
as the chair had pointed out, no one was able to give a record of where this bus was, and uh, therefore it was flagged within the Auditor General's report. And uh, we concluded that the Auditor General, well, and it was stated in the report, no one could give an account for it. So, as you were involved in the transaction, I want to ask you about the procedure that uh, transpired that put you in possession of the shell. Okay? Go ahead. Right. Now, you were a former employee of the board. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, this particular bus, the shell, was up at Mangrove, was it? Yes. It was Mangrove? Okay. And uh, it was there for some time. And you say that when you purchased it, you purchased a shell. A shell, not a bus. Not a, a bus. Empty shell. Okay. Would you happen to know how over time what would have happened to the other parts of the bus? No. no. I have no clue. No? Okay. No clue. All right. And when you were engaged in the transaction to acquire the bus, could you walk us through the steps that you took? and the persons that you spoke to and who went through the transaction with you. Could you share that with us? I spoke okay. I spoke with the general manager. Ge and the name of that person? Sandra Ford. Okay. Mm -hmm. First. Mm -hmm. when, and when, Mr. Catwell, would that have and been? This was prior to the recent, prior to, um, I gave her a letter in January, in January, um, I, I, I expired to January 2018, 25th, January 2018. I spoke with her, and I said to her, um, I hear they have an old shell up there throwing away. I would like to purchase or obtain the shell. Mm -hmm. Is it possible you can guide me how I can deal with that? She said you have to start by writing a letter. Submit a letter to me, and I will have to investigate to see if what you are saying is true. I'll officially submit a letter to her mm -hmm. in January, January 25th, 2018. I officially have a copy. I can share it to you. Okay. And uh, having submitted the letter, what were the next steps that occurred? <coughs> and with um, I had a, at that minute, we had asked if we were able to go and see, to go. see the shell that I, that I was talking about. And sorry, said, sorry, go back again. You asked her. I asked her, I said, look, I hear about the shell, shell. and I would like to go and see, and I would want to know whether or not I could obtain it. Mm -hmm. So she told me to submit a letter to start the process going, mm -hmm. of which I did. Right. I delivered it, and it had a peep at it. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Um, a couple of weeks passed, and I called to find out I called the quality assurance manager because she had mentioned also that she will have to submit it to the quality assurance manager to have it investigated. And the quality assurance manager was who? Um, Mr. Codrington, Silver Codrington. Silver Codrington. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I gave him a call. He said he received a letter from the general manager. He's going to investigate it, but they will get back to me. Subsequently, then after that, I would have called him back, and he said, you have to make a bid for it. Mm -hmm. and of which I made a bid, mm -hmm. and he said he would talk to her, and I could give him back a call. Subsequently to that, I called him again, and he said, yes, she accept the bid that I give, I would have to come and pay, I could come and pay for it. And that her was the general manager? Yes. So you paid for the shell when? On the 27th of February. 2018? 2018. I went to transport board, not to the general manager, but to the revenue department. 
and they paid the bid that they submitted to them, and they got a receipt. <coughs> Sorry, you went to, on the 27th of February, you went to which department, sir? The revenue. Revenue? And then after that, you had, after you'd paid for it, right, you then collected it. it? I told, I called Mr. Godwin and tell him, listen, I went and they pay for it. He said, well, take the receipt to Mangrove. I will send, I will make a call up there. And I went to, I got to get a record. And I went to Mangrove and collected the shell. And so when you got there, the persons there had been apprised that yes. you... Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you removed the I didn't bus remove. body What happened that is that they, mm -hmm. the guard accompanied me to the office at Mangrove. Mm -hmm. Then the guy accommodated me to the shell. Mm -hmm. And he said, Cat, this is what you will get, and that only. Mm -hmm. The shell, shell only. So I said, well, I got the record, so I let him, I would do my heat coming in. So he tell me, okay, um, tell the guy who was there to go and allow the truck to come in. Because they had guards around. So they didn't allow me to go by myself or anything like that. They accommodated me. And when did it, the person in charge accommodated me to it. And then we get the record, the record came. I had to pull it out the bushes, things like that, because they had no wheels. No differential, it was just there on the ground, empty. And he had to lower down his boom and drag it on the boom and then try to lift it up and with a hoist, hoist it and put it on and drag it onto the truck. Mm -hmm. okay. So it does the record and re remove it from there. All right. And then a little while after that, you made a request. Yes, it was a while after that. Mm -hmm. I made a request to get the letter of transfer because I didn't get the for, for the shell. I didn't get the letter of transfer at that point in time. I have got the only the receipt. <clears throat> How long after you acquired the shell did you ask for the letter of transfer and the ownership of the shell? Um, okay, April 19, a year after. Why so long? Because I was trying to get parts and putting pl things in place to get it repaired. <clears throat> Sorry, you, your plan was to... My plan, okay, my plan was to repair this bus. I saw a bus in St. James, okay, mm -hmm. whereby the person was overseas. So I tell myself I could get a Kino bus. The bus was bad, but they had an engine and gearbox and things like that, differential and things like that. I could get a old shell, a old bus body. I was able to transfer, I could repair it and able to transfer the parts from it. Right. Sorry, just help me here again. So you bought the shell and you said that there was a bus I in... Okay, I met a bus in St. James right. that had engine, gearbox, different everything, but the shell body was bad. Okay. Okay? So I said if we could get a shell, I would have to transfer the parts to the shell. Okay, I'll put the shell on the bus. No, <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, and um, so this was the reason why you right, went for the shell. Why you went for the shell? Okay, and all they wanted why was the shell. Need? Okay, um, one one of the questions that had come up earlier was why you needed the document of transfer. Why because they wanted to put it back enough. on the road, and they would need a letter from the transport to show. I took the receipt to the point, and they said they're going to get a letter of transfer. So I wanted, to, I, 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 my plan was to put the bus back on the road. I was laid off from transport board, right. and I want to put a minibus back, but I want to put a bus on the road. And you would have needed a, a, a letter transferring? The chassis to, to me. Chassis? Just the chassis, just the body, just the shell. This, this image of this bus in this, you provided this? 
Yes. This is in better shape. This body here is in better shape than the one you saw in St. James. Pardon? This, uh -huh. this is the bus you're talking about from Mangrove? Yes. And this body is in better shape than the one you saw in St. James? At that point in time, it's done in better shape. It wanted repairs. The metal and so on, that was stripped, okay, that was stripped right down. In order to build it right back, you've got to do repairs on the frame. The frame was rusty. They cut the bad pieces. But what I'm asking you, Mr. Catwell, mm -hmm. this bus here, this image. Yes. Go ahead. This is a better bus body at Mangrove than the one you saw in St. James? Yes. This? Yes. Because that strip right down, right down. You can repair that body, put hand panels on it, and it will be land you to 10 to 15 years before, no problem. The bus in St. James was rusted too. And badly rusted, because it was near the sea far. What's the registration so, on this? 506. On this? Yes. Where? It, look, that had on 506. And the chassis number is still there. The chassis on it number is there. All right, I ain't did it. So I was able to confirm it with the point. I ain't did it so much with chassis because you told me about a frame that was right down, sitting down on the ground. Yes. So where did you see the registration on this? You were was at the back of the bus. Yeah, I don't see the back of the bus here. It was in my front. No. Hmm. Yes, minute. So, um, just help me. Um, the other bus you are saying was in worse shape than this one. Yes. And but it had the engine and wheels, had all wheels, it had all different things on it. Um, I'm just curious as to why it wasn't easier just to buy the new panels for the bus. Which new for panels? The, the, other bus that had the engine and the wheels and the seats. Wait, what In other that? words, this didn't have any panels. Oh, well, had to strip it down like that first and, and then deal with it too. And it was a longer bus than that. One well, well, let him minister cattle, but let me mm -hmm. get something straight. Um, yeah. You were saying you saw a chassis in St. James. I saw a bus in St. James. With a, ch a chassis. <laughs> No, that is a chassis there, sir. This the bus had an engine that you saw in it had an engine. No chassis. Gearbox. No chassis. It was a bus. It was not, it was a bus. It was not like that is a chassis. The bus in St. James had in a chassis. <laughs> it was a bus. It was a full bus. Full bus. Chassis and everything. Chassis and everything. It's St. James. But it was rusty. What rusty. you want, what you wanted was a shell. A shell. To correct. put on top of that. Not to put on top of that, to repair the shell and then transfer the parts. To repair the shell? Yes. That shell can be repaired, sir. And put on the thing in St. James? And put, no, put the engine into that, put the parts into that. You're taking the parts from St. James and putting it into this? Correct. Same thing. You put this on top of that, you put that. <laughs> No, you're putting that on top of that. You're changing out the parts to that. Mr. Mr. Um, Mr. Catwell. Yes, sir. Ultimately, the chassis, you call this whole thing a chassis? Yes. The whole thing? The frame, well, chassis, I body. I, I, I ain't technical. I don't, call, I don't know the whole thing. Was well, I ain't technical either. <laughs> no, because I'm, I'm coming to come, I'm trying to come to grips yes. with what you're trying to tell us. Mm -hmm. I'm a little slow, so you gotta take it a little slowly for me. <laughs> this is in better shape than what you find in St. James. It can put in better shape than what I got in St. James. And what you, there's more to what you find in St. James that you ultimately will use. To put on that, there is more to what you found in St. James. Yes. That ultimately can be put to use that yes. is here. Yes. Yeah? Yes. But you got this. I got that. Because you can fix this. Because you could fix that. And you needed to get a letter of transfer of title. To put it on the road. To put what on the road? Really what is it? What is it you're actually putting on the road? This ultimately or? Not that. When it finished repair that, it will be a bus. That's only a shell. 
ultimately, mm -hmm. what will make up this bus that you have now put together? I mean, that one? That shell? What will make up the bus, the bus, that mm -hmm. you will now put together using parts from mangrove and parts from... No, Sinti. no, I ain't get parts from mangrove. All I get from mangrove is that shell. This is what I'm talking about. This. That, wait, wait, that shell, yeah. What ultimately you will put on the road using this shell from mangrove and whatever you're able to get from St. James. Mm -hmm. That that you finally put on the road will be more, will be made up more of what you got from mangrove than for what you got from St. James. It will be a better bus then after I done with it. I'm just trying to ascertain why you thought it necessary to get the letter of transfer of title. Because when you're ready to go on the road, the letter of transfer is gonna go to NTW. But you see, I don't know. To say that I get I don't bus. know about these things, so I am mm. querying whether right. or not what the you. The letter are. of transfer is to go to MTW. I understand you that. Get your bus so I, I can register, that. register the bus. I understand that, right. but I'm wondering whether or not more of what is represented to MTW comes from what you got in St. James than what you got at Mangrove. It hasn't. It hasn't got to MTW yet, but he wanted the letter to, when it go there. You know, Minister Cattle. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Catwell, yes, how, how long were you employed at the Transport Board? Only eight, six, yeah, 2006 yeah, to 2014. Yeah. That would make it um, seven, so, so seven years plus. Tell me the dates again. 2006, November 2014, April. Okay. And what, what um, was your position there? A driver. So, were you specifically aware of the availability of 506 when you raised the query with the general manager? Did you, were you aware that this bus was in this condition at Mangrove and yes, might be available? Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> were you aware of any other um, buses that no, were similarly I available? Never another so, bus. to your knowledge, this was the only that one was available? That was the only one at that point, yes. So, there were several other buses there, but I didn't interest in them. Okay, so you were invited after you wrote the letter. Mm -hmm. Sometime later, you were asked to make a bid. Correct. Do you know whether, so, so the bid would then not have been in response to a request for proposals. It was simply in response to your letter and to your knowledge, you were the only one who was invited to make a bid? I know about nobody else. I don't know about anybody. I know about me. I ask the question, and I follow through, and I made the bid. I Did, can't tell you about nobody else. Right. Did you at any point become aware of any document issued by the Transport Board to the public inviting expressions of interest for 506? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. And the bid that you made, can you tell us what, what amount that was in? $300. And that was accepted? For the frame, yes, for the frame. So can you tell us, um, you said that you requested a letter of transfer. Yes. Did you receive it? No. I received all this nonsense that I got a bus. Sorry, you did not receive a letter of transfer. I did not receive the letter of transfer. I, I see in the paper all about No, 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 I let's stick to the process between you and the transport board. You requested a letter of transfer. Um, on what date did you say? The 4th of April, 2019. And did you never receive a response from the transport board? No. A response I received again in the paper, the IT for us. <laughs> That's the response I get in the paper. I got so, my name associated with it. All right, too. let's just stick to the matter. <laughs> so um, what have you since done with the bus? Anything? Yes. So can you tell us what, what, what you've done to the 
to the to the, the shell. The bus is and being repaired. The bus is being repaired as we speak. I want I can come company road shortly too. So you're simply awaiting the letter of transfer. Correct. Correct. But it was still in the absence of that. I can do an affidavit. And it will still go on the road. But I was still happy to get my letter because the bus was never missing. I never had a missing bus. I had a frame, an empty frame. So the bus that the associate didn't think about it, it was never a bus. It was this empty frame that I got. Well, it was a bus at some point. You're saying that you were in receipt of a shell. A shell, not a bus. All right, Chair, that's it for me. That's a reason. Uh, go ahead, Minister Jordan. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Cadwell. I just want to follow on from um, Minister Cadwell's question. Do you have any idea? Was there any rumor about why your request for the transfer letter wasn't responded to? Any idea why you transfer board did not give you the letter no. of transfer? No. Um, you'd gotten a receipt. Yes. And you are of the belief that having paid the $300, that shell, that chassis was yours. Yes. And you just needed the transfer letter. That is all. Now, you needed the transfer letter because you, you mentioned some number that is connected to MTW. Yes. The what, what, what was the chassis number? Chassis number. Okay. And you were never told why. No. You why you were not going to be given or why you were not given a letter of transfer. No. You indicated earlier that the letter you sent went to the general manager. Acting general manager at the point in time. That, that was uh, Miss Ford? Miss Sue. Sue. I thought you mentioned the Ford earlier. Miss Ford is when the transaction occurred. Right. But then so, the election came and everything changed. So then Miss Sue was the general manager. Okay. So when you asked for the, chat, for the transfer, there was somebody else acting as general manager. Right. Miss Ford was no longer there. It was yeah. Miss Sue. Miss Sue. Okay. And did you follow up? As I, to why you didn't, why you I weren't spoke getting the with letter. Her and she said to me, she's going to pass it on to get it checked out. P pass it on to who? Well, it's quality assurance person then who was there then. And was that the same quality assurance person that you no, dealt with before? No, no. You, I think I am, um, from what I read in the paper, it was this guy, Kern Jim, he was then the person who was there at that point in time. So she would okay. have given him copies of my letter, that he took my letter, mm. as well as the copy of the receipt that he gave to her, mm. and start this nonsense, this rumor that I got a bus. Okay. I, I'm not sure that uh, we can get into. Right, right. But, 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 but and, I, and, I, and I'm not sure that you, you covered by no, the privilege. No, but on the, so on the December 10th paper, have it. All right. I, I'm not asking about that part. <clears throat> No, so you didn't get the letter after? No, up to no. Up to no, you haven't received no. the letter. Do you have any idea where the engine, no, gearbox, no, differential? No, no, I know I not, I know nothing about that. Okay. You were aware that there was a shell at Mangrove? Yes. No, this is 2018. You were laid off in 2014. Correct. And you would have known, well, before you were laid off, that there was this shell at mangrove no not at that point in time i didn't know that i didn't know that but then we bought i bought drivers i bought drivers i bought mechanics time to time and we talk and we talk we do the talk and i asked them um <clears throat> if there's anything up there that available throw me away and because as after leaving transport where i was driving Minibus. Mm -hmm. I applied for minibus for me. I was able to get one. Mm -hmm. Okay? I had a minibus on the road too. Mm -hmm. Did picnics as well. For your Mr. Chairman, you remember that, sir? 
Uh, right? Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> to the East Coast. <laughs> um, but but, tell me something. As a driver, <laughs> having worked seven, maybe seven and a half years at the transport board, <laughs> what in your mind would have caused a shell to be just there without the engine? Were engines taken out to do anything with? You know, okay, what what I know from from, from being there is that they normally take parts off of some buses and put them off on other buses. Okay. And then other bus parts shall left there just all along. Because they haven't been buying new parts to keep. But then parts, buses that get troubled, mm -hmm. they will shift parts from buses and put onto other buses. At one point in time, they had to stop it. But then the, the practice of taking parts and scrapping some new buses used to happen. So I was a driver. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I was a driver. Prior to going to transport board, I had some mechanical ideas. Okay? And even when I went in there, I used to talk with the mechanics and help get buses on the road. Do you understand that? I don't understand Right. That. So you are saying that the transport board, because it did not purchase new buses new or buses purchase parts, correct. that they would essentially, the transport board would, would cannibalize. Off one, correct. Okay. Well, I heard the word cannibalize. You cannibalize, somewhere. right. Because they move parts from off of one bus and put on a bus to keep it going, to get going. Okay. So a bus that is on the road could be made up of parts of correct another bus. two and three and three four buses. Correct. buses. Correct. And in, in your mind, what well, you, you said you went here with some mechanical ideas, mm -hmm. but what did that say to you about how the transport board was being managed? So managing the transport board is a very difficult situation. Managing up top, the manager, you got a general manager, look, you got several different managers at transport board. Okay? You got terminal manager, quality assurance manager, you have general manager, you got deputy general manager, you got several, about near 13, 14 different managers. In my opinion, a lot of them want sending home. Because they just sit down and draw money. Terminal managers just sit down and draw money. A terminal is there, for example, Fairchild Trees Terminal is there. A manager don't come down and tell you what to do. When a driver get to a bus in the morning, he's going to check the bus. Write a memo about. All right, Mr. Catwell. <laughs> yes. Um, sorry to seem to cut. This bus, as put, pictured here, is at Mangrove or at you? <laughs> the bus is my bus. As pictured the bus, here. Huh? Yeah, no, that, that, that is after the removal from Mangrove. So it is at you? Yeah. No. In your possession? Yes, the bus is my possession. I took it from Mango. Got the bus, the shell. <laughs> you keep saying a bus, but that's a shell, sir. Well, you understand what we mean. <clears throat> no, so this be the, the shell here. Right, right. It, yeah, I, right, that picture was taken after it was removed. So this, this is up at you. Right. Now, um, this chassis carries numbers. Yes. The registration in the records at MTW would match BM yes, yes, five hundred yes, six to this, yes, to this chassis. Yes, sir. The bus shell still carries the registration BO BM. No, no, no. Because it's straight. We take them and take off all it after you get it. That remove. Cause it's my bus now, sir. That shell is my shell, sir. So that was removed. All right. Sorry to interrupt. So yes, I am, um, Mr. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I just wanted to, well, yeah, let, let me continue. The, I, I understand what you said about the number of managers. You obviously believe that there are too many managers. You mentioned what people drawing money. But I I'm, was particularly focused on your views on how, on the, should I call it on the technical side, the mechanical side, mm -hmm. how that was being managed. You said you went in with ideas. Yeah. Because remember, we're talking about a missing, what we call a missing bus, which could be termed no, a missing shell or a missing chassis. I don't want to get no, into no, the it worst. It can't be a missing shell. It can't be missing. Right. No, no. have an owner. Yeah. What I'm it saying is that. It cannot be missing. That, that is what. It can't be a bus. It's only a shell. 
Uh, I, I, I explained to you, this way you read this up front, you know. I explained what his bus is, sir. Yeah. I hope you understand that and what a shell is. I, I Mr. Cat, I made it clear, clear. Sir. What a shell is. And what could a you allow me to speak? Yes. Good. The. You were called here not because we had your document. You were called here because of what was in the Auditor General's report. So let me make that very clear. The report speaks to something that you may disagree with, but we are here investigating a report. You may not agree with the report, and you are free to share. So I, I appreciate that. But don't, I don't want to give me the pushback on that. Just answer the, the, the questions. The matter of the management of the mechanical side of the business, that is the transport board. All right. You said you went in with mechanical ideas, and I got the impression, so you can correct me if I'm wrong, I got the impression that you were saying that what you thought made sense mechanically that they could be doing, they weren't. That's the impression I got. Those are not your words. Is, is that correct? Did you think that some of the ideas that you had, that you were sharing, were not being used, and, and that was the reason you shared them? You saw people doing things the wrong way, or were you uncomfortable with how they were managing it? I am not a certified mechanic, mm -hmm. okay? I went in as a driver. On more than one occasion, when a bus had a problem and I tried to discuss it with mechanics, they say to me, Cat, you are a driver. Just tell me the problem and let me deal with that. Just tell me the problem. Don't tell me how to deal with it. You understand what I'm saying? So I was left there right like that. They do what they had to do. If the bus, if we get back the bus in busing working as it should, I make a memo again. I said, look, as a matter of fact, I would have gone to, I leave the mechanics, gone to the manager and say to him, Mr. Codrington, Mr. Codrington, I bring this bus in here yesterday to get X, Y, Z done. Come back today, same problem. I want help with it. Because he says, okay, can I, Give me a couple minutes. And he will come and check it himself. And he will make sure that certain things are being done. But can I do what they feel like doing? They don't know me to do it. Thank you very much. All right, so um, you said you were told about this shell mm -hmm. by some people at the transport board. Not some people. One or two guys. One or two guys. Uh, a couple of people, buses. mechanics, yeah, yeah, drivers. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, you were not advised of its existence by the quality assurance manager? No. Okay. So you went and paid for it? Pardon? So you went and paid for it? After discussion with the general manager, she would have had discussion with the quality assurance manager. And you paid for and it? Then after then, right, I would have talked to them and made it right. So you paid for it before you saw it? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I went and look at it first. As I said, when I went to the general manager, I spoke with her. She told me to submit a letter. Mm. And I told her, submit the letter, and I told her that I would like to just get a little peep out of it. So I was, I was, that was accommodated for me. But when you actually went, then? And I looked at it. And I saw it. And they went pay for it? No, they went pay. I, at that point in time, they were still looking at, she's still awaiting. I mean, but you saw it before you paid for it? Yes, I saw it before you paid for it. And, and is it true that this is not the first time you've bought something from the transport board? That what? Is it true that this is not the first instance that you made a purchase from the transport board? Correct. It is true? It is true. You have bought things from the transport board? Not things. <laughs> there are some seats about, what? 15, 20, 15, 20 years ago, I asked about some seats. And I, and I was able to buy the seats the same way. That's the only other thing? That's the only other thing I get from them. Some old seats that was in the old bus, again. Mm. You consider that $300 was a good price for the chassis, the shell? But they were thrown into away, sir. They were, it was no, selling no, no, to no, the no. dump. In relation to the and I paid, I paid them in to relation, move the dump. In relation to the item itself. Yes, you sir. You considered that $300? Yes, sir. Big price. buses said at $800 last week. Bigger buses than that. 
Said at eight hundred dollars last week. Last week. One got his seats and everything. Said at thirteen. You you said the bus was sold for eight hundred dollars last week. Last week. And last for, week. And, 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 and one got his seats and things. Said at thirteen. He know buses. Uh, not he know the big buses, the bigger ones. And you know that for a fact. Uh, the bigger ones, and not you know, the he knows. And you know that for a the fact. The Coyotes, yes. They were sold last week. They had an auction last week. Okay. Public auction. Huh? A public auction. Yes. What did you, you, you say you want to use the, the thing to go on the road? Yes. Huh? Yes. And you are convinced that it would still be considered to be roadworthy? After, have, you, after, it, sir, you, after you fix it up? They have to go to MTW first, and uh -huh. they were going to prove it worthiness. And you can bring it back? Yes. You say you have a copy of the receipt? Yes, sir. Do you have it there? Yes, sir. And I also got a copy of the letter you wrote to the general manager, too. You have a copy of the receipt and a copy of the letter? Letter, yes. And you got no documents from the transport board? Pardon? You have no documents from the transport board? The document I have in the transport board is the receipt, sir. Just the receipt? Yes, sir. You don't have the letter? No. They didn't, they didn't correspond the letter. OK. We corresponded over the phone. OK. Yes, Dr. Brown. <coughs> Hi, Mr. Carroll, Dr. Brown, Sonia. Yes, um, when you paid, you had to send a, a proposal for the shell. In other words, you said you paid three hundred dollars. You sent an original proposal to the board or to the general manager. Doctor Brown. Yes, sir. I say I spoke with the general manager first. I know, but you said. And I also saying to you that she asked me to submit a letter. Correct. Starting the process. Right. So I didn't have to submit any proposal. So the three hundred dollars was agreed to over the phone or in person? Yes, it was written phone. on that end. No, I didn't get any documents regarding that. I spoke with them over the phone about it and they told me to go and pay for it. Mm. And the receipt you have would have had for purchase of a well, what do you call it? A shell? Yes. Old bus body. Old bus body. I applied for old bus body, and I, that's what I got. I, got I paid it. for old bus body. And was it customary, as far as you know, is it customary for people to purchase parts? I'm not talking about auctions. To purchase parts or parts of vehicles or shells from the transport board normally? Ma'am, the reason why I went to the general manager and asked a question, so that I can be guided how could I obtain? The question I, I did was to ask a question. And I follow, you know? I follow what I was told. OK, but you know of any instances where employees or former no, employees were No, I ain't purchased? know about none. This is why you went to the general manager and asked a question. OK, thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, Minister Husband. Just a couple follow-up questions, because I was curious about the project that you were doing. I believe you shared with Minister Cattle that there were several buses at Mangrove, but you were particularly interested in the shell. Yes? Yes. OK. And just trying to figure out the other buses that were there, they were in better or worse condition than this? All right, ma'am. I didn't check for the other buses. OK. OK? Once I saw that shell, and it was stripped right down as it is, with, the, with those things exposed, right. to get a strong bus would be to repair that from scratch. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And build it back up. Okay. So even if I didn't get some, because they're old buses, mm -hmm. old. So the metal, the structure of itself, you would still have to strip it right down to get, to start it from scratch. So the bus in St. James, you already owned that before? No, you, I didn't own it. Or you don't own I it? I didn't own it. OK. But I saw it, and I tried to get a contact with the person who was living overseas. Mm -hmm. 
Okay? okay. And he said to me, when he coming, I will be able to. Yes, I he will deal with me. So this is why we went after looking for something in the meantime, hoping to get things put in place. Okay. And uh, did that purchase come with seats and everything? Yeah, they had seats. They had, they had everything. Body they had everything. But your body was rusted badly. Okay. It was near the seat. Okay. Huh. And, and, and you are already in the process of putting those things into the shell here? Yes. Okay. All right. I just wanted to clarify that. Thank you. Would you have a question? Would you have any would you have any possible suggestions to us as to why the management of the transport board was not able to satisfy the auditors as to the whereabouts of this? You don't have that. Sir, man at management level I have no ideas why. Alright. I was only a driver there. You were a driver then? No. You said you were a up driver to, then? I was a driver up to 2014, sir. Not in 2018. You're aware, of course, that in, re, in, res, in, in response to your letter request for, tra, uh, for a letter of transfer, the, the, uh, Kern Gemmett was what at the time? Quality. Kern Gemmett was quality assurance manager at the time? Acting. Acting. He had advised Miss um, Sue on her query subsequent to your letter request for that transfer that there was no evidence to suggest that the bus had been boarded and any proper procedure followed for its sale. If I knew that? Yeah, you made a letter of request. For Sir, I made it abundantly clear. Uh, I submit the letter to Ms. Sue asking for the letter of transfer. I did not receive any further correspondence. But what so, I received so, so you are what I saw in the what I saw in the paper. So you're not aware that when Mr. Kern Gemma was asked to look into the matter, his reply to Ms. Sue was Upon investigation of this matter, no evidence has been found that this bus was boarded or that correct procedure was followed in this sale. <laughs> I would like to humbly suggest we return the $300 to Mr. Catwell and then have the unit BM506 return to the transport board's premises. That is May 14th, 2019. I'm not aware of that. All we were aware of was the article in you understand now what Minister Jordan was saying when he said to you, we can only act on the basis of the reports to which this committee's attention has been drawn. Well, that is some clarity to what he is saying, but yeah. I was never aware of that. Well, it may be what? clarity to what he is saying, but it leaves open and very much so the question as to why the financial controller at the transport board is being informed by the quality assurance manager that pursuant to your request for a letter of transfer of ownership, read the shell. The position is no evidence has been found that the bus was ever boarded 
or that any correct procedure was followed in, in this uh, apparent sale. Like humbly to suggest we return the $300 to Mr. Catwell and then have the unit BM506 return to the transport board's premises. So you have no idea what they're talking about. I did not have any idea of that at that point in time. I only read that in the paper, December the 10th. You read that in the newspaper? In New and the December the 10th paper. <coughs> the 10th paper. Uh, Miss Sue never got back to me. And you never followed it up? I call, I, I, I call her more than once, but then she said she haven't get, uh, she haven't deal with it as yet. She will get back to me. What is follow up is that I wanted to go into the TAP program, and since the July um, last year, I had a letter, and I didn't even get through to that either. Mr. Catwell, do you have other copies of the receipt with you? Yes. Could we see them, please? Pardon? Could we have a copy? You want your copy of your letter you also sent to the general manager? Yeah. Okay. Just give me one minute. Yeah. This is the one. You could put a copy in the email. Shell was about five years old, out, five years out there in the, in the, you said in the bush. Somebody told you there's a bush shell out there about five years in the bush. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yes. And you saw it? Huh? And you saw it? I only saw it after it went to the general manager. Yeah, and it looked like it was out there for five years in the bush. Yes. And you it bought rusty. it, right? Huh? And you paid for it, right, in 2018? Yeah. Um... You paid for it in 2018 and requested the letter of transfer in 2019. Yeah, the following year. Huh? The following year. How would you explain that the transport board's internal notes here suggesting that this bus was in use all 2016? Pardon? How would you explain that the notes internal to the transport board? I cannot board, explain that, sir. 
All right. Because I know I didn't at 26 cents was the word. And that, that repairs word. were paid for on the bus to the tune of nine thousand dollars <laughs> in 2016. But so he bought it in 2017, and it appeared it was in the know, bush. Let me see. Mm -hmm. And it appeared as though it had been in the bush for five years, as you were told. Are you sure the registration on our bus was BM506, Mr. Catlin? Yes, Mr. sir. Catwell? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, it's happening again. See if he has the same chat. See if he has the same chat. Are you telling me about the chat? No, no your, re your receipt had a casting number. AC14CK 40634. AC one four zero K C K C K you have zero K. So it's just a type. CK four zero six three four. This is a C. Was it what you care what who? A C uh one four mm. CK mm. four zero mm. six three four. All right. There's a difference in the number here in the note. Pardon? There's a difference here in the number in the notes. What's the engine number you have there? Uh, sir, I never had an engine. You must have had an engine. None you must have had a chassis. Just a chassis. Just a chassis. You must have had an engine. Just a shell. Just a shell. All right. <clears throat> Just a shell. No differential, no front beams, no wheels. But but um, there's a difference in the, in the chassis number which you gave, and the notes here internal. And this the, this these notes are pursued to the letter you sent, asking for that transfer letter. Repeat that one, sir. You you wrote asking for a transfer yes, letter. Yes. Transfer ownership. Right. The acting general manager at the time, financial controller, mm -hmm. substantively, asked Mr. Kern Jemmett, quality assurance manager acting, to look into the matter, and he replied, as I read earlier. Right. But the notes accompanying that letter of reply suggest that this bus was still actively in use up to 2016. Mm -hmm. You bought it in 2017. No, 2018. 2018, sorry. But up to the end of 2016, it was still in use. But, sir? December 2016. But, sir, uh, did you read, did you hear from Mr. Codrington, who, uh, who was his general manager, quality insurance manager, sir? Yeah, I heard from him with respect to what? The bus, the same, but um, BM506 shell. He said you bought it. And you didn't sell anything else, sir? I, re okay. I recall him saying that you bought it. Yes, the shell. For about $300, yeah. The shell, the shell. Yes. <laughs> yes. The shell. Yes. We also said it was cannibalized, too, sir. He said that. That is correct. He said it, was, it wasn't in service for over five years, sir. He, he, he said that, I think, yes. So he's saying the same thing as you. Correct. But the so, audit, so, Mr. Kern, give information, but, sir. Again, Mr. Kern, give information cannot be accurate. Why is that? Then you must find out when Mr. Codrington was there, up to what year he left. But Mr. 2016, where was, where was Mr. Kern, Jimmy? Mr. Catwell. Yes, sir. Mr. Catwell. Yes, sir. The Auditor General's report said that the whereabouts of this bus could not be properly accounted for. That they saw no evidence to suggest that it was properly disposed of, mm -hmm. was still in the possession of the transport board. Mm -hmm. And I have here a note suggesting mm -hmm. that at the end of 
2016, the bus was still in use. Mr. And not out in the bush. Mr. Chairman, sir. Mr. Chairman, sir. Yeah, I'm listening. I cannot account something like that. I only know what I know. And I give you pictures of what I receive. All right. I, I accept that. Okay. I accept that. So when you mention things about boarding and things like that, I am not the manager. Because that this table has been cannibalized long ago. So even if it was boarded way back, and probably I don't know where you can find the information. I was working at transport then. I don't know anything about it, I and I asked that, to be guided. But, but we can forget <coughs> Mr. Kern Gemin and what he wrote for a moment. But the official uh, receipt issued by Public Works and Transport to the Transport Board makes reference to the operations of a bus BM. 506 for the year 2015 to 2016. So according to what the documentation from the transport board is saying, this bus was still considered by them to be in service and on the roads of Barbados. According Sir. to Mr. Mm -hmm. Kern Jamet's notes, mm -hmm. the bus was still subject to some repairs which were completed in December 2016 a cost of $9,000. The bus according to both those sources, was not out in the bush. And but, it was certainly not a shell. But, sir, I got a shell. And this is what I got from the, the Mangrove Depot. I don't know where Mr. Kern Jimmy got his information from. Or licensing authority. Huh? Or the licensing authority. <laughs> I don't know. Or the Auditor General. Sir, I don't know where that information was come from. I wasn't at transport there at that point in time. As I well, said to you, I received information, and I acted, and I asked the question. I went to the general manager and asked the question. And yeah, I'm sure, sir, I'm sure, if that, bus could, if that bus was still functioning in 2016, it could never be in that state a year after. Check your state of that, it's just they have. It could never. I went to transport, the buses put down for over two years and more, but they came back into service and function. They had to go and get rebuilt and reserved and things like that. So you're saying the bus could never have been in the state in which you found it in the bush? If it was working in 2016. But that's the difficulty we have, mm -hmm. because we have evidence suggesting that the bus was still not yet cannibalized, certainly not in the bush for five years. But sir, it had been registered at MTW. But sir, when I saw the shell, when I saw the shell, it was like that. Did you saw the shell or a shell, Mr. Catwell? <laughs> the shell that I show you, sir, is the shell that I receive. Yeah, but we don't have any mm -hmm. evidence that that's BM 506. <laughs> Neither do you. Do you? Yes. yes. Do you? Yes. Because the number, the chassis number that I have is on BM, is on the vehicle that I got, the, the shell that I have. Well, the number is slightly different in the documentation here. Correct. If it's different then, sir, then you ought to find out that bus number. Because he might give you that shell number with BM506, but it might not be BM506. But the one that I have, the, 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 the chassis number came off the chassis. That's the chassis number I have. So that means he will be associating the chassis house with some other number mixed up. But this number that you have from me is on the chassis. It's not different by much, just one number. Just one yeah, but just one, one number digit. makes a lot of difference, sir. Just as one digit. As, as far as licensing is concerned, one number makes a lot of difference. Exactly. So are you sure you got BM506? The chassis number that I have here is on the bus that I have. And I'm telling and you. I don't know. And I'm telling you that on, on this. How long 506 play? I'm telling you that on this documentation, it is different. Mm -hmm. Just by one digit, according to you, one Sir, digit makes the world difference. Right. 
Okay, sir, but as I say to you, I cannot I'll come for that. that. Uh, I'm right. not Anybody else? Anything else on this? Uh, this one, yes, sorry. This one, last question. Um, we just received um, this paper here and the request for the letter of transfer. Um, I think you have here in your letter, at the time of purchase, I did not receive the necessary letter of transfer of the bus body. I have unsuccessfully sought to acquire this letter of transfer which I was told was prepared by the quality assurance manager, Correct. as is procedurally the case. Correct. Which quality assurance manager was that? Mr. Sylvan Codrington. Sylvan Codrington. Okay, thank you. We don't necessarily anticipate having to call you back, Mr. Catwell, but just in case we do, I want to put you on notice for that. No problem. Uh, we want to thank you for coming, and sorry for the delay at the uh, earlier hour when we started the meeting a bit late. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right? Thank you. Thank you very much. How soon do you plan to have this bus on the road? Shortly. So I hope you help me get the transfer letter. I hope I help you get it. I want it. We have to break for a few minutes, according to the protocol, to allow for uh, sanitizing of the area. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Catwell.
the speaker. You go in the washroom. Sat there for the break, and now you go in the washroom. <laughs> <laughs> you told me that she said she was speaking next thing, so he'd be early. Now this man coming.